When I think about my history of giving back to the Lord, um, I, there's really not much of it before uh, Stephanie. I don't remember much before Stephanie, and that's probably a really good thing for both of us. But um, we got married right out of college, so before that, it was just navigating from adolescence to adulthood, and you know, and really a lot of my my personal uh, testimony is within that before even figuring out, you know why to give in the first place. So I've been here five years and, and most of you know me uh, as a surgeon, but I wasn't always a surgeon and I have certainly not always made surgeon money. When we got married, we lived in a small apartment in College Station, you know, and then from there we've had multiple phases of our lives. We were in either Houston or medical school in Arizona or residency up in Ohio. Those first from the very beginning, you know, discussions about the budget while I was mowing lawns in College Station and she was finishing up school and what are we going to do? What are we not going to do with the money? I mean, tithing was kind of there from the beginning. I know we've come in and out of it some, so uh, absolutely we'll be the, the first to confess that for the 15 years we've been married, we didn't tithe every single month, but at the same time, we have consistently tithed throughout. And so there have been times where it's been a lot harder than others. There's a point where we have three children in residency with a pretty low salary and, and working really hard and, and making that a priority. But I've certainly never regretted giving, that's for sure. I think that our money is important to God because it's a result of our time, effort, uh, and talents. I do think we're called to not be in debt when we have the opportunity not to because that can make us slaves. But at the same time, we do have to take into account the way our society works to an extent. And we have a, a loan on our house. I took out a loan for medical school that I'm still paying on. And so it's been tough balancing that. How do we be faithful towards our debtors and trying to wipe away that debt, but also be faithful to the, the current work of the church? If you're like me and, and work for your money, <laughs> then, it, you know, it's it's not just money that you're giving, but it's it's your heart, it is your time, it's your, you know, it's your desires uh, and your hard work uh, that you're giving through this money. So I do think it's, it's important that we take time to consider what we're giving to, why we're giving. If we're not giving, why we're not giving and what's holding us back. I don't think you can separate your spirituality and your practical giving. That's definitely a, a temptation, but you know, Jesus talked more about work and about money than he did a lot of other things, you know? So I think it is, uh, it is an area that does reflect your, your heart towards him. So I think God made it a percentage for a reason. The actual number has changed significantly throughout my adult life, but the percentage allows us to be a part of God's work, whether we're making a lot of money or making hardly any money. And what kind of motivates me to give, other than the command to do so, the original command and the fact that God's ways, I've tested them, I've gone outside of them before, and uh, I know that His ways are good, so I trust that. But two things that I kind of think of are externally when we give is thinking about whether you're giving money, time, effort, or talents. Uh, is it a worthwhile thing to give to? I think it is important to be in, invested in an energy way into what you're giving to. If it's for forward in faith, I think you should be talking to the elders about the way things are, are gonna look and what the plans are. I think it's important for you to be, quote, sold on what you're on what you're giving to, right? Obviously, if you're a member of a local church like this, I think being sold for the work of the church in general is, is not a, shouldn't be a hard sell for us. So in the same way, if you think of a, you know, nonprofit organizations that the church is supported or even individually you can support, you can think of relevant things, right? I mean, we even, talked recently about the Roe v. Wade and the fact, hey, there's gonna be more resources needed towards taking care of those things. Giving can be creative. Stephanie and I have been able to consistently always give to the, to the church, and then a certain amount that we keep for needs as they come up. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to, uh, in a more personal way, get in, involved in some things and have our antennas up a little bit so that we're always, always looking for opportunities to do that. So if there's something that comes up where, Hey, this is a, a need right now. Somebody needs, you know, this. Hey, we've we've got some some that we've, you know, appropriated just for that. That's been a big, uh, big joy for us uh, in our giving, and has, has uh, been a big blessing for us. Go back to Ephesians 2:10, which says, "We're God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do." I think when we 
when we give of ourselves, of our time, of our, of our talents, of our energy, of our money, I think we're fulfilling our destiny, right? Um, our destiny in Christ Jesus, doing what God has programmed within us in our DNA to do. That's part of uh, living the good life that he's called us to. Thank you.